Unleash you viewers and random Doctor Who fans, today I will be reviewing this, which is the new 12th Doctor's Flight Control TARDIS, and I never thought I'd be so happy to say those words. Anyway, here it is in its box, which continues that great graphic design and colour scheme as seen on the other Collector Series items. We get the Doctor Who logo at the top corner, while electronic Flight Control TARDIS is printed at the bottom. It features interactive flight, takeoff and landing sound effects, it motion activated interactive sound effects, flashing roof lantern, opening doors, internal light and light up windows, and door sign. We get the TARDIS warp sign printed at the top. Well, there's an image below showing the toy with both doors open, and below that there's an underground toys logo which had a sticker over it until Idiot here tried to remove it and ripped the box, so yay for me. We get a good clear look at the TARDIS thanks to this large window which extends all the way up to the top. The sides just feature images of the police box while the back lists off its various features, and look how many features there are. But let's move from one box to another as we leave the packaging behind and move on to the TARDIS itself. Okay, so here we have the all-new Flight Control TARDIS, and it looks great. It's very similar in design to the older 11th Doctor TARDIS released in 2010, so I won't go into too much depth with the detail. The lantern at the top looks great with the indents on the actual glass visible there. The wood grain effect makes a return to this is present all over the toy, and really adds to its visual aesthetic. Speaking of which, this is a very vibrant blue TARDIS, perhaps one of the brightest we've seen, which does match the exterior of the 12th Doctor's TARDIS. The sculpt is really sharp throughout, so the various panels all look very strong and have been replicated very clearly. The police box signage looks very crisp and clear, as do the windows which feature those white frames and the two textured panes on the bottom of each one. The pull to open door features some very clear text too, although it looks darker, you know, the background of it looks darker compared to the previous TARDIS models, but more on that later. The St John's Ambulance badge is present too, and it's very detailed and precise as well, as are the silver handles and the Yale keyhole. The other sides of the TARDIS are all the same kind of really there, and even the speaker holes and battery compartment make a return here as well. On the underside we get that white spindle in the middle, the on-off switch, the button to activate the flight noises, and a whole host of legal shintwangle. So overall for detail, it looks visually superb, save for the obvious battery compartment and speaker grill, but seeing as they're on the back they're hard to spot when the item is on display display, and the same thing goes for the legal guff. Turning to features now, and the TARDIS comes with light and sound effects to activate them, switch the toy on, this will cause the lantern to pulsate, and the window, sign agent pull to open door to light up. Good. God, how I've missed this so very much. This is the first TARDIS since the 2007 Eccleston Tenant Flight Control TARDIS to feature this many light effects, and doesn't it just look gorgeous? This is what was severely lacking from the 11th Doctor version, as with only the lantern lighting up, it didn't give it the same visual flair as seeing the windows and police box signs illuminated. And another great bonus is that the pull to open sign actually does light up, just like it subtly does in the show. Both police box doors can open inward, revealing the TARDIS interior backdrop inside. You can see that the internal light will begin pulsating and the sound effect from the console room will begin to play. However, there is a slight problem. As you can clearly hear, these are the sound effects from the 11th Doctor's first control room, and not from the 12th Doctor's. In fact, most of this TARDIS seems to be made from reused pieces and parts from the original 2007 model. The design of the lights in the ceiling is the same, as too is the tiled ramp effect on the floor. But I will admit that I am nitpicking here, and the inaccurate sound doesn't really bother me that much. I also think that the backdrop image is a little bit too big, and the console should look much further away than this. It's interesting to note that the pull to open door does not in fact open at all, and there's nothing on the other side of it. I'd have liked a little compartment with a phone inside, but I think that's asking for a bit much. To close the doors, pull the right hand side door closed with your fingers, then press the button embedded in the floor to close the left one. And after being left idle for around 3 minutes or so, whether or not the doors opened or closed, the power will shut off to save energy. Lifting the TARDIS from a resting position will cause the lantern to pulsate and the dematerialization noise to be heard as though the TARDIS is taking flight. When held in the air, the lantern will continue to pulsate. Moving the TARDIS around quickly will cause it to emit some turbulent flight sounds. And being a flight control TARDIS, it of course offers the spinning feature as though the TARDIS is flying through space. To do this, place one finger into the spindle on the bottom and hold the lantern between the thumb and forefinger of your other hand. Twisting the lantern around will then cause the TARDIS to spin and emit a flight sound effect.
and setting the police box onto a flat surface again will prompt the TARDIS to emit the materialisation effect while the lantern pulsates once more. When this is complete, the lantern will remain steadily lit. A quick takeoff and landing sound can also be activated by quickly lifting the TARDIS or setting it down again. So, as you can see, it has the exact same amount of features as the original 2007 model. Doing a size comparison, the flight control TARDIS is essentially made from the same moulds as the previously released version, so it is more or less the exact same size as them. And while we're at it, doing a side by side comparison with my custom 12th Doctor's TARDIS, you can see that I wasn't far off. Of course the wood effect on mine is a little bit darker, but I think my backdrop looks a little bit more accurate in terms of sizing. Plus my pull to open door actually opens, however I haven't added a telephone compartment to it. Yet. And returning to the size comparison, of course the new TARDIS is in scale with the 5.5 inch figures, which of course is the most important thing. So overall, what do I think of this toy? Well, I actually love this. When it was first announced that we would be getting a 5 inch scale 12th Doctor's flight control TARDIS with lights, I feared that only the lantern would light up much like the 11th Doctor version, but I'm so happy that this TARDIS contains all of the same features as the 9th and 10th Doctor's one. In fact, I'd go as far as saying that this is the 2007 model with a superficial facelift, which does leave it with a few problems such as the inaccurate interior sounds and the pattern on the floor. But these are all aspects that I can deal with because we finally have a flight control TARDIS with a 12th Doctor. Frankly, this has blown me away. Character in Underground finally listened and gave the fans something that we wanted. Superficially it looks awesome and those light effects just really set it off when it's on display in a way which the 11th Doctor's variant failed to do. Easily on a par with the 2007 model, I can't recommend it enough, especially considering the RRP of just £20, which is around the same price as the older models whenever they were first released. Well done character, you did yourselves proud. Take a bow. Yeah, so that does it for this review. I really hope you liked it. If you did and you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe for more videos and keep up to date with all my latest news and reviews by liking my Facebook page and following me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.